name is Vania. I'm an EEG technologist. Today I'm going to discuss what an EEG technologist would do working in an epilepsy monitoring unit, also known as a long-term monitoring unit. Um, my duties on a daily basis generally, um, they can vary. Um, most days, unlike say a Monday for instance, is when we get all of our outpatients, our patients that come in. Um, in a long-term monitoring unit, the purpose is, is that patients are being monitored over longer than a 24-hour period over uh, our EEG system, and which records, records their brain waves continuously, and also where they can be more closely monitored by us EEG technologists and also EEG monitoring technicians. Um, the doctors bring in the patients and they take them off their medication so therefore they are in a more secure environment and also being watched by us. As a technologist, we apply the electrodes to the patient's head using the 1020 system. Then we may do some activation procedures in which we use that of a, what we do with our regular EEG, which is hyperventilation, also um, the photic light. Then, pretty much the patient is just prepared to stay and just go about staying as if they're a patient in the hospital. Also on our end, when we return back into our lab, we just semi, we pretty much monitor the patient. The monitoring tech monitors the patient as well along with us. On the next day, generally after we have reviewed, see, received the data, um, the next day we review the the data and go through it real closely and mark any interesting um, areas that may be more that the doctor may have to review more closely. We check to make sure the patient didn't have a seizure that they may not have known about as well. Also the patient is equipped with a push button in which they can sometimes push if they feel that they're about to have a seizure or feel an aura or anything come on letting them know that this is what their spells are like and that we can record and correlate with the EEG to see if it's true seizure activity. Um, the stress level is stressful because actually seeing a patient uh, have a seizure can be somewhat hard because no one's seizure is the same. They have similarities. So just seeing a patient have to go through that can kind of be traumatic. Um, also trying to calm the family and different things because the purpose is that we want them to have the seizure so that the doctor can see themselves and be able to give a better diagnosis. Um, a typical work day is anywhere from eight hours, although in some facilities it can vary. You can do ten hours um, do, depending on how the staffing is, is spread out. For working in um, an epilepsy monitoring unit are, are not that much different from working in an EEG lab itself, although it may take a little more extensive training as far as having to know more of the disease patterns of an EEG and various other patterns and being able to specify different seizure types that may come out on an EEG. Um, also, the, the requirements of that, again, for being an EEG technologist that can benefit you is being a graduate um, from a CAHEAP accredited school, a two-year associate's degree. Um, also, after being able to achieve that, getting your registry in EEG so that you have a little more background. And, and, some, and some labs, also the requirement may be to work in an EMU is to have been an actual EEG technologist working with outpatients and inpatients throughout a hospital or a different type of facility or like a year of experience before actually working in an LTM itself. Um, also now, which is a great benefit af after having worked in an LTM, it's considered another strength and another modality in which you can seek out is also getting um, a certified long-term 
monitoring registry, which just uh, it lets people know that you have had a little more extensive training with patients and knowledge is, is with patients that come and stay three to five days. You, you're good at monitor, monitoring them, knowing, being able to review their studies and the data and pick out different seizure types and just various things that keep an LTM going. Uh, the best part of this job is being able to build a rapport with the patients more closely than just coming in and performing the test and then leaving. You actually get a bond with these patients. You get to know these patients because they're here for a day or two at a time. You actually get to go through their testing and just understand what their journey may have been. Also, another good point of this job working in a long-term monitoring unit is being able to see how some people that come in, they, have, they may just have been a one-time seizure and being able to see how the doctor can treat and help a patient and put them on different medication. Also, another good thing with working in this area is that we have patients who come in and have had epilepsy all their life and they have other forms um, of being able to detect seizures not only, not only with different types of electrodes but surgical procedures where they can place grids and then they can hopefully and become seizure free with epilepsy monitoring surgery. Um, and then therefore that patient, you know, is pretty much been been treated and we you know we may not get to see them again but it's for the best interest of the patient and they're kind of you know healed in a way. Um, also I think just just feeling like you know you're actually learning you get to take more time you get to ask questions you build a you're closer working with the doctor and being that they rely on you and you rely on them, it really makes you feel like you're making a difference. And sometimes there's things that the doctor may not notice that you notice and you can point out. And there's you're always learning. It's always just evolving. There's really never a dull moment. Um, the worst part is having to see people have to, it's just kind of bear through this. Um, because it's not an enjoyable thing to watch anybody you love have to sit there and you kind of take them off their medication and different things and sit there and wait for them to have a seizure. It's nothing that anybody wants to see, but it, it has to be done. And I think the other thing that the stressful part is, is being able to just kind of keep a positive attitude for the patient and keep them in mind that they're there for their best interest. Um, and just being able to work, you have to be able to work with a different variety of patients because not all patients are are willing to do this. They're willing, but not as cooperative, I guess I should say. Any advice for somebody going into this field is just be sure that it's what you want to do. You have to have extreme patience, and you also um, have to be ready to to learn.